All right guys, today on Exposing the Back, we're gonna be giving you guys a bear trap back take from Close Guard. All right guys, today in Exposed in the Back, I'm gonna give you guys a bear trap entry that is gonna allow us to take our opponents back starting from the closed guard. All right, I've been working on this entry for a little while. I'm trying to hone in the details of it. All right, so um, I'm looking for two different things. When I've got my opponent in closed guard, he's gonna do one of two things. He's gonna be either putting backwards pressure on my feet and trying to push out of my guard, or he's gonna be putting downwards pressure down towards me, okay? Either one of these things is gonna work to allow my setup, okay? So if he's putting backwards pressure, I'm gonna come up and get the grips that I want. So I wanna put a four finger grip inside of his collar, and I'm also looking for my secondary grip to be underneath his leg. So I'll sit up and come get that grip if I need to. If my opponent is coming to put downward pressure on me, I'm gonna put my hand in front of him. As I put my hand in front of him, I'm gonna pull my knees so I can get my under grip, and then I'm gonna get my, my grip again here. All right, in both of these cases, I want you to, to make sure that your elbow is tucked into your body so that he's laying on top of your frame. So if he's putting downward pressure here, it's easy for me to keep my frame in, get my grip, get my under grip and keep my elbow. If my elbow is outside of him and he crushes that in, there's no way for me to get my frame back in and he can start doing some polo passes and lots of different uh, pressure passes from there. So we wanna make sure that we always have our elbow tucked in so that he's sitting on top of our frame, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and get my grips. I'm coming up and I've got my grips. Once I've got my grips in place, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna put my knee in place. So that's the reason why I need this frame here, okay? So my outside knee is gonna be the one that, that, um, that I'm putting underneath him. So I'm gonna open up my guard, give him a little push, and place my, my next frame in there. So this creates a very, very strong structure for me. Now I'm gonna be able to drop my knee to the ground and start driving him in the opposite direction, okay? So I'm driving him in the opposite direction and I'm putting my knee down into a K-guard type position, All right? So this is gonna allow me to drop my hand down here. I'm gonna let go of the collar and I'm gonna step my leg over the top of his leg here, looking to place it behind the knee. So I can step and I place it behind the knee. Now I've got my, my heel in there and I've got it locked in place. This is gonna allow me time to sit up and grab the back of his back here. Now this is where we're stuck in, sticking him in our, inside of our bear trap. All right, so I've got almost like a reverse bear trap position right here. All right, and this is gonna really control my opponent and prevent him from being able to go anywhere. And as he's trying to escape, you see I've allowed me to sit up. All right, so now I'm gonna switch hands to the opposite side of hip and or pant grip if you need here. So I want control of the, the hip here. So I can make my hip light so that I can go to the back. So as I do this transition, I'm gonna put my hand behind me. I'm gonna put my second foot towards the back of his knee. And then I'm gonna be able to free my hips from underneath the bear trap. And then I'm gonna be able to start attacking the back by leaning backwards, kicking my feet forwards. And I can go into my back attacks from here, placing my hooks in and starting to submit, all right? That's one variation on using the bear trap back tape. Now I'm gonna show you guys variation number two. All right guys, in the second variation I'm gonna be giving you guys, we're gonna slightly leave that bear trap open so our opponent has the ability to try to pull away from us. This is also gonna expose their back and give me um, a chance to be able to take the back as well. Okay, so all the setup is gonna be the same. I'm gonna give you guys a slight variation in what my opponent does. Okay, so instead of me loading them up and getting the grips that I want, my opponent has decided, as I'm grabbing his gi here, he's decided to step his leg up. All right, so this is gonna allow, anytime your opponent steps your leg up, this is gonna allow you to go into that K guard entry, okay? So as they step their leg up, my hand goes underneath, I just drop into that K guard entry right here, okay? So my, my hand in here is controlling his posture and keeping him glued to my shin. My foot is on the other side over there underneath his armpit and keeping control of him right here. So I've dropped my knee into that K guard entry here and now I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I have to push him in that direction as I hold his leg and step over and setting up my bear trap. So I push, I step over and I set up my bear trap. I put my heel in right behind the knee here, okay? So now this time I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna stay on this hip. 
Okay, so that's what's gonna leave the bear trap open. I stay on this hip, and you notice that doesn't quite lock his leg all the way up inside of that bear trap there, all right? In order for me to lock the bear trap, I have to actually turn the hip, and that closes the trap and keeps him locked where he can't move. So if I stay on this hip, he's gonna feel like he gonna be, he's gonna be able to pull out of this thing before he gets his back taken. So I'm relying upon him running away from me in order to take his back this time. So as he starts to pull out of this, I'm pulling myself up and I'm gonna go ahead and jump onto the back from there and attack the back and go ahead and start doing my submissions, okay? So I'm using the momentum of him, of me leaving that trap open and him trying to escape in order to jump the back from there as he tries to escape. All right, that's the second variation on utilizing the bear trap from closed guard and exposing the back. Hope you guys like it. Give me a comment down below if there's any variation that you like to use in the bear trap system. You know, um, let us know what you like to do and uh, just comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Let us know what you guys think.